Hello and welcome back to Hydrostat Info. In this video, I will show you how to enable dynamic islands on Samsung Galaxy S25 Plus. Let's begin! Now, in the previous gen, in order to actually get a dynamic island similar to something iPhones have, we would normally go to Play Store and search for some third-party application. For example, Dynamic Island. And as you can see, we have a bunch of different options to actually get the Dynamic Island for Android. However, in the new Samsung generation, we have and already a dynamic island installed. It's called Nowbar and it can be visible inside our lock screen right here. Uh, if you don't see it for some reason, oh, I will just ignore that and input normally uh, my password. Uh, if you don't see that for some reason, you can always go to settings. Uh, oh, let me close that. We can go to settings scroll a little bit down and here click lock screen and AOD. In here you can enable and disable always on display and under that we have now bar. And as you can see it works very similarly to a uh, dynamic island from the iPhone. So instead of playing around and actually installing uh, some third party applications that may not work even uh, on the new Samsung, since a dynamic island is already here. You can just enable uh, live notifications, for example, our media player or basically anything else on this island. It is still technically a new feature and uh, with future updates, uh, this list will extend with new applications. So I would also advise you to just check on uh, from time to time uh, to scroll all the way down to, s to do a software update and to check if there is no uh, software update to actually download. As you can see my software is up to date meaning my currently my list of apps compatible uh, with uh, the dynamic island or now bar, uh, now bar on the Samsung is pretty small. However we, I can showcase it by for example enabling voice recorder clicking voice recorder and now I'm recording my own voice and if I would go uh, here and simply tap once uh, tap twice we can see that our now bar is indeed showing us that we are recording and we can swipe through different uh, uh, things that could uh, that we had installed previously uh, installed uh, what I mean by this is we can easily swipe let me go back to the settings lock screen and iod now bar and we could just easily scroll through all of these uh, i can also showcase it by enabling clock and also enabling a timer here or maybe a longer one so now if i would lock our screen you can we can see that we have bunch of different islands right now or now bars and if you want to actually enable your now bar on uh, always on display why is it not working excuse me uh, whatever uh, you may have it disabled so we want to go into our lock screen and AOD once again and here you go to always on display and make sure that your show now bar is enabled so now when I will black out my screen and just tap once, we can see that we have our always on display with our dynamic island here. And if we want to see more information, we can simply see our lock screen. And that's all. If you have an older version of Samsung, uh, you might need to play around and actually install third, ap third party applications. Uh, or you simply uh, can wait for why? Oh, that is so annoying. Uh, or you can simply wait for a software update uh, from One UI, uh, One UI 7 update, uh, as a the Dynamic Island or a Now Bar is uh, only on One UI 7 at this very moment. So that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. 
Thanks for watching.